This is a case study, Harp's role in 9-11. Uh, you can go to my articles at exopolitics.com. On the right-hand menu, it says 9-11. Just click on that. There are a series of about six or seven articles that show all of this. Again, we'll be having an indictment of the principal culprits behind 9-11 come out as part of the 9-11 tribunal later on in 2012, beginning of 2013. Uh, now, uh, the harp had to be used there along with mini nukes. Uh, this is slide 53 because of the energy budget. Uh, chemical explosives do not provide a large enough volume. As uh, Lorraine Murray says, you can't get more energy out of it than you put into it. The, the, the energy budget requires a directed energy weapon like HARP and mini nukes for the uh, nanoparticles and molecular dissociation uh, that took place of the World Trade Center towers on September 11th. Uh, and uh, slide 54, again, uh, we're, we're uh, looking at more of that analysis of HARP. Uh, slide 55, again, we wag the dog with our most advanced weapon on 9-11 HARP to bring down the Twin Towers and launch a worldwide world war of aggression the war on terror, and a dom worldwide domestic police state. HARP and D and D population. Uh, and uh, here we have the Rothschild family above uh, the bloodline, along with 13 other families that control the city of London. And their new uh, North American contractors uh, the Wall Street bankers led by the Rockefellers. Uh, and below there we have uh, Elizabeth Windsor, who was under indictment by the International Tribunal for Crimes into Church and State, along with what many observers believe will be the New World Order planetary king, uh, Prince William. And HARP is an instrument controlled by an international war crimes racketeering organization. Uh, HARP's purpose is to help de implement a depopulation policy of up to two-thirds of the current world population, a covert policy developed by bloodlines centered in the city of London, the Rockefeller groups, and the UK monarchy. You can go to exopolitics.com, and uh, that will take you to interviews that go into why Prince William, who appears to be so angelic, is being groomed for this New World Order role. Uh, and here we have uh, the coronation of Elizabeth Windsor, who uh, in October of 1964 uh, came to Kamloops, British Columbia, in the province where I live with her consort, Prince Philip, went to a First Nations uh, Native American residential school, chose 10 to children, said, we'll take you away to a picnic by the river. Those children were never seen again in their lives. This, according to eyewitnesses, My Michael Coombs, we have that testimony on, on tape, uh, and those children were either uh, killed in satanic ceremonies or sold into s sexual slavery. How can we the people stop the HARP chemtrails planetary system assault? Number one, exposing it. And that's what we're doing at the conference here. Tell your family, friends, and networks. Write articles, conferences, Facebook, Twitter. 74% uh, of the North American internet population is now on Facebook. Remember back in the 70s, when late 60s, when AIDS, the AIDS epidemic started, their motto was, act up, silence equals death. There's the photo of the commercial airline pilots protesting against chemtrails. 
this year. That's the kind of stuff that has, you know, is of great effect. Slide number 60. Enforce the Environmental Modification Convention. All of the parties that are spraying chemtrails and using HARP are parties to it, or their agents are. And all that we need is to have that enforced, and the HARP chemtrails weapon system would be silenced overnight. So it's enforcement. And uh, just put pressure. It's enforcement of the Environmental Modification Convention. We have the law to do it already. All that we need is enforcement. Um, and uh, that's, um, we now go to slide 62. And uh, publicly commit to the positive timeline. 29% of the remote viewers in the 2010 study saw a non-catastrophic future for the planet. We're on a positive timeline, you know, and, and the, it's, it's this uh, uh, hierarchical power structure that is attempting through HARP and through chemtrails and the depopulation program, trying to get World War III off the ground to make us think that that they can depopulate us to get us into world wars and just commit to the positive timeline and move into it because that is what nature and the universe and the multiverse is promoting. And finally, the final slide, uh, you can reach me at exopolitics at exopolitics.com. My website is exopolitics.com. I want to thank you very much and uh, May the force be with us. Thank you. I'm Alfred Lambert Weber, wishing you a wonderful day and expect miracles because life is a miracle.